Hello, Pablo. How are you? Hello, good evening. I am great. Okay, that's good. How was the day? My day was very well. Okay, good. So you you had a lot of work? Yes. Or not no, too much? You. Okay. I'm Hello Minor. Hello Manuel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Alan. Good evening. Hello, hello. Okay. John. How are you, Hi. John? Hi, teacher. Okay, that's good. How are you? How was the party? Okay. <laughs> no, no party. No, 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 teacher. Oh, come on. It's Thursday. I have, I have two feet. Less class. You have to what? <laughs> two, two, two foot. <laughs> you have and to. Dancing. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to work. Yes, I am finishing the work. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, no problem. Okay, Thank good. you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Elena, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was the day? <laughs> Hard work. <laughs> well, sounds like fun. Yes, uh, because sounds... I like very much my work. Okay, that's good. Yes. Then you enjoy it. You enjoy it more. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Great. And you, Francisco? Javier, how was your? Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? I am in work. Oh, still. Okay. Still. Yes. Okay. One day. One one. Day, he works one day a week. Once a week. Yes. And, and today is the day. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, yes, just kidding, it's a joke. Okay, fine. And then we have Ala, oh, Andres is here too. Then we have Minor. Okay, guys, we're almost finishing, right? And then, uh, let me see, we have, This is the one. Okay. <clears throat> so today is the, well, we had the knowledge check. This is the last one we had yesterday. Starting to rain here again. It didn't rain. Oh my God! It didn't rain all day. On the ass. And now it's raining. Okay, here we are. Okay, just uh, just to refresh our memory, we're gonna watch this two minutes of video and then Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. 
I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about four and since. Four plus period of time. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay. The last part, as you can see here, they just went since from a very specific starting point in the past. Right? When they say since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, uh, since Wednesday, since two o'clock today, probably. And I have worked here since 1990. Okay, and then you had the present perfect, similar to this. Uh, she has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. I have owned, or I have had my own business, right, since uh, 1915, okay, uh, or I have owned my own business since the beginning of this year, okay, so you can use a specific moment in the past. Alice has, Alice has been married since March 22nd. Okay. Then we have here um, the knowledge check, right? It says, uh, a, Juan, can you please read these instructions here? The instructions. Okay, uh, read the following, read following sentence uh, and choice between for and since, depending on context. Depending on context, okay, good. Then uh, we have to use here for and since, depending on the context. If it is the period of time or a specific point in the past. For example, Pam was in Central America for or since? For. For a month last year. For, for a month. For. Okay, is the period of time for a month, for a week, for a day, for, for a year? Mm -hmm. for six months, okay? You can use different times. Now, I've been a college student for or since? For six months, for a year. Okay, I've been a college student for almost, right? For almost. Yes. For almost Sorry. four years. Okay, four years is the period of time. Okay, when we study medicine, you can say I have been a medicine student for almost eight years, right? So they study similar or about or almost eight years. Then the next one is Hiroshi has been at work since. since 
Yes, because here we are using a specific moment Science. in the past. Since. Okay, so we use since. Since. I haven't gone to a party. Since. Oh. For. Okay. For. For a long time. A long time. Uh, long time is is an expression that we can say that is relative, right? A can be one month. To, if you go to parties very often, and then a month is a is a long time. Okay, but if I if you don't go to parties uh, very often, then can be one year, two years, right? For example, uh, in my case, uh, I don't go to parties, parties probably very frequently, right? I have more meetings with friends or reunions with other families, right? But uh, let's say a, a, um, a party, probably a birthday party. Okay, yeah, we have sure. a, a piñata or something. Can be, can be, sorry, Ron, can you repeat? Uh, can be since. Mm -hmm. Puede in the, ser sin. And here, in the number four? No. Yes. No, only four. Okay, for a long time. Mm. Because it's a period of time. Okay, only four. Josh lived in Venezuela. For, for, for 40 30. years. For Okay, my parents have been on vacation since. Since, okay, since Monday. Okay. Since here. All right. And what about this one, number seven? Four. Four, okay. Four. Number eight. Five. Since. Since. Since high school, right? Since high school, okay. Number nine. Since two. Since. And the number 10. Since. Since four. two four four for three minutes for three minutes for, for thirty, 30 minutes. minutes okay for thirty minutes the period of time a specific time a specific moment or four. event time since a period of time okay the length it's a length of time okay the a specific moment, a, a length, length of time, length of time, a specific moment of time. Uh, this is length of time for years, two years, three years, and a month is also length of time. So you use four. Okay, let's. Uh, Okay, you can see four, since, since, four, since, then four, 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 I'm oh, sorry, it's here, since, four, and four. Let me see, all of them are correct. Okay, it's not complicated, right? Just they have the, remember the concept, right? That since is the moment that an action began. Okay, the moment that an action began. I have been in this world since 1966. I have been in this world since uh, 1970. I have been in this world since 1940. Okay, so you just say the moment, okay? Good. M4 will be the time. 
Okay, I have been in El Salvador for 20 years. I have been in El Salvador for 40 years. So it's the, the length, la longitud del tiempo, right length of time. So then, that's how much time you have been in a place. Good. And here we have some pronunciation. Okay. Um, Pablo, can you please read these instructions here? In this session. In, in the session, we will work on pronunciation in order the song natural by linking final T and D sounds in bars with the vowels that follow. That follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes, what is one of the problems that you think you have in English? Listening, reading, speaking, or writing? Speaking. Speaking, okay. Speaking. What else? Another problem? Maybe pronunciation. Maybe the pronunciation, maybe, okay. What else? Understanding? Listening? No? No problem with the listening. Yes. Yes. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Okay. And what is the problem sometimes? Is this. That sometimes we don't pay attention when they link. <laughs> okay. When they link one word with the other, right? And we do it in Spanish. We do it in Spanish, right? Very often, very frequent, very frequently. We say, pereme a ver. Right? We say, pereme a ver is, oof, imagine, se imagina un, a un extranjero, French or British, tratando de descifrar eso. Tipo, decirle, le vengo y se va. Ya vengo. <laughs> then you said they're going away. <laughs> exactly. All right, that's correct. Okay, so then there are things like this, okay, that we have to get used to, right? We have to train. We have to train our ear and, your, and our brain. And we don't have to, trans, uh, to translate. Uh, that's why sometimes they put two or three words together, right? For example, uh, uh, then we use a lot of expressions like that. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. <coughs> final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. 
Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Now, I want you to practice. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Okay, so the idea here is to make two, two words sound like one, right? You say, I've, I've already cooked it, cooked it. Yes, I've tried it. I try it. I try it. No, I tried it. Okay, the, there is a tendency. Yes, I tried it once in my. Listen. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it. Bowls that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. I already cooked it. And I already cooked it. Okay, uh, there is a tendency that when we, when we read, when we are learning, we try to pronounce all the words, right? And then we say, yes, I've already cooked it. But then, but when in normal, normal speaking, let's say like the people are speaking in the street or in an office or in a reunion, they will never say, I've already cooked it. So I already cooked it. Okay, and then say, yes, I tried it once. I tried it once. I tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it once. Okay, once in, once in. And even this one, they also link it. Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Once in, once in Miami. No ones in Miami, right? Not every word, not every sound. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, what about this one? Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I cut it. Yes, I cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, what about when you say, have you ever tasted goat cheese? What would be the affirmative answer? Mm -hmm. Anyone can answer. Have you ever tasted gold cheese? Okay. The answer. Mm -hmm. Yes, I tasted. Taste, tasted it. Tasted it. Okay. Tasted it. Okay. Tasted it. This little, this little uh, D. It's like a little R, okay, tasted it, tasted it, okay? Have you ever, yes, I tasted it. No, I haven't tasted it. Good. Have you ever tried Korean food? Have you ever tried Korean food? Okay. No, I haven't. No, I haven't tried it. Okay, I haven't tried, tried, it. tried it. I haven't tried, I haven't it. tried it. Oh yes, I've tried it once. Oh yes, I tried it a long time ago. Yes, I've tried it three years ago. Good. Have you brought? Have you brought your dictionary today? Have you brought your dictionary today? Yes or no? Have you? Huh? No? Okay. No, I haven't brought it. No, I haven't brought it. Oh, yes, I've brought it. Okay, good. Uh, 
Manuel Alberto, read the last question. Have you read read the last test Harry Potter book yet? Okay, have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? No, I haven't. Read no, it. I haven't read it. Read it. Uh huh. No, I haven't read it. Very good. Okay, or yes, I've read it many times. Or you can say, no, I haven't read it, but I have watched the movie. Okay, I have watched it many times. I have watched it many times. Okay. Now let's uh, read a question. Let's read, let's ask. A question quickly. Okay, about using have you ever? Have you ever tried? Have you ever played? Have you ever sung? Okay. Have you ever written? For example, have you ever written um, an email? Uh, let's say to, to your boss in English. Have you ever written an email to your boss in English? Beatriz, have you ever written an email to your boss in English? Um, no, I haven't written it. Okay. Written it. Written it. Okay. Written it. Okay. Written it. Then you're not going to use it that way. Okay. Good. So then if you see final T or final D, verbs that finish with T or finish with D in ING, right? With the sound. Okay. Written it is another sound. There are many other sounds, not only T and D. Okay, also when you see the one sin, one sin is once N, one sin. Okay, this is another sound that you can, you can link, okay, link. Okay, there is another, have you ever, have you, have you, have you ever, have you ever tried? Okay, this is another one. And have you, have you cooked? Okay, so these are words that you can, sounds that you can link. Okay, in this case, they are, they are presenting only T and D, but uh, remember that there are more, right? There are more. Uh, one recommendation is the, um, the use of, uh, let's say that of, how do you call this? Audio books, the audio books, uh, that you can find sometimes in different uh, web pages, right? Uh, the most common one is YouTube, right? In YouTube, you can find uh, many books that have the, the audio, right? And then you just do some research, okay? Uh, where you can where you can find it. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot. Sure. Uh huh. And um, we can use a uh, pot too. A what? A podcast. Oh, yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. The problem is, eh, por el momento yo no puedo compartirles nada en, aquí en la web porque es, es, tenemos ciertos derechos de autor que no tenemos. No lo puedo hacer, right? In, in this case, because there are many, but there are many, there are many, Elena, because right now we have this. Eh, something that we cannot do it, right? But uh, there are many, many that you can use, that you can find in the, on the web, okay? I will find a way to, 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 to get you some. They are, I mean, it's not illegal, right? It's nothing illegal, but sometimes you have to, you have to put some things in order, right? So that you don't break the law. That's the only problem. 
for the moment, right? But little by little, we're going to improve that. Okay, but yes, but you know, watch movies, okay? Also watching movies, now we have the option uh, with uh, Netflix, I guess, okay, that you can, you can watch a movie and then you can uh, use the, not the subtitles, you can use the captions, right? English, English, okay? No, the subtitles are the movie in English and the subtitles in Spanish because that's that's not good. But if you do it, you know, English, English, oof, the practice, then you can find a lot of uh, words that they link when they are pronouncing, right? So this is an excellent practice. And you are doing something that you like and relaxing. And you don't have to be paying attention all the movie only reading, right? You, know, you watch the movie and then you can use like five minutes only reading as an exercise. You can do this exercise with movies that you like, movies that you can watch more than one time, okay? For example, you know, sometimes I watch all movies that I watched a long, long time ago in Spanish. Now I see them in English, right? And sometimes, you know, just for, for, uh, for, for finding new, new vocabulary or expressions or pronunciation, because, you know, especially when they are cowboy movies, their pronunciation is, is really nice you know, and difficult to get. So then I, I, I sometimes would uh, activate uh, the captions. And you also find that the caption sometimes is not 100% correct, right? Because there are some, because they speak too fast. And then probably for the people who, who probably, you know, writes the, the captions is also difficult. But it's a good practice, okay? Also singing songs, the lyrics. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, iTunes or I don't know, Spotify too, I guess. They have, they have the lyrics. You can listen to the song and at the same time you can see the lyrics, okay? And then uh, you can sing the songs and then listen. And that's another good practice of, right, of iTunes, um, Spotify, I don't know if there is another one uh, for music that you can have, that you can listen, that, uh, that you can listen to the music and get the lyrics at the same time to, to practice, right? So, I mean, these are, you know, practices that you can do um, with activities that you like, okay? Listening to music, watching a movie, reading a book, like you said, in the podcast or some other, uh, let's say uh, other sources. Uh, what else? What else can you use? Well, normal reading. Okay, normal reading and read a book. Paper book is also good. And they don't have to be, you know, the original books, the thick books. You know, you can find probably some uh, short stories or read biographies. Okay. With the biographies, it's very good because you learn a lot of verbs in past tense, right? Because most of the most of the biographies are written in past, so then you can find the use of uh, a present per, a past perfect. You can use you can see present perfect. You can see the simple past. Then you can practice different tenses in grammar too. So there are many. If you see, there are many ways. Now it's very easy because we have access to a lot of information, right? Before it was very difficult. Uh, I remember when I started teaching, this is a long, 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 long time ago, okay? Uh, if I wanted to, to, if I wanted my students to sing a song, it was a big process, it was a very long process, okay? I don't know if you remember, the first thing I had to do is uh, I, uh, I, I had to select a song that it was popular. Solicite, solicited the, uh -huh, solicited yeah. the, the song in the radio. Exactly, right? You, I asked, I called the radio, uh, okay, uh, and, and asked for uh -huh, the song. Yes. And be ready to record it, right? Okay, y ojalá que el, this day, the, el DJ no sea bayunco, así, aquí es que este es para grabar. <laughs> y salía la voz de él, right? And then, uh, uh, that yeah. was that was one. After that, then you have to listen to the song and write it, okay, and copy the song, you know, the transcript, okay. 
After that, then you have to type it in the typewriter, no computer, in a typewriter, no máquina de escribir, right? And after that, you took it to the photocopier machine, then you made the copies, and then like three or four days after, you know, if I wanted to sing a song next uh, Friday, I had to prepare it during the weekend, right? So to have the song ready by Tuesday, maybe. Okay, so it, it was a long time, but now, you only click three or four clicks and you are listening to the song, right? You just click on the web page, then you click on the song that you, you look for the search, type in the name of the song, click to for the search and then click for play three and then another click for the lyrics. With four clicks easily, you can be singing in, in less than a minute, okay? So imagine, and long time ago, it was three, four days, depending on your time. So it's a big difference, right? So now we have a lot of, uh, a lot of, let's say, uh, resources. It's very easy now. Okay, and now uh, the other thing that you can do it in your, with your cell phone, you can have the computer in your house. If you are uh, driving, you can do it in your car because the car, you can uh, probably plug in your, your cell phone. And then, so there are many interactive, uh, gadgets, electronic gadgets that we can use. Okay, so that is something that, you know, helps a lot. And what else? And there are also uh, websites where you can, when you can go and read, and then you can record your voice and after you listen to it again. Okay, so those are the, the advantages that we have, right? Or you can do it in your cell phone too. Okay, you can use your cell phone to, to read something and after you listen to yourself. Okay, and that, that also helps a lot. Okay, what else? Now we're going to see, the next one is, Okay, here, I don't know if you finished this part of the, of the exam, right? Which is the final exam. Uh, the recommendation, as I told you the last time, is to open the... Listen to the conversations. And then Check you go back. the correct information. One. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah. Did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No. Okay. So you see in the, there are some tricks, right? There are some tricks in the, in the listening because first they mention, uh, here is mentioned the, the height and the age, but he mentioned thirties. And what, what age did he say more or less? What age did he mention? In the description. 25. 25. Okay. 25. So then which one is closer? The first one or the next or the last one? The last one. The last one. The last one, right? Last one. So then this is what you have to do. Then one uh, recommendation is firstly read the the possible answers. Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve is really tall and curly blonde hair. Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. And then... 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see... Long hair. Look, mm -hmm. she's Sorry. waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. 
He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is. And he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what So here you can also another strategy that you can use is the elimination process, right? A black hair? No, because they say you, there are some keywords. No. Yeah, hay unas palabras clave. They say that is? Really tall. Oh. Tall and Blondie. long hair. Uh huh. Blonde hair. <laughs> and, blonde, wow. and blonde hair, right? Blonde hair. And then you say, for example, then this one, they don't say, you know, he's handsome, but he says that he's 19. Probably, so the closest one is this one, right? This one, no, because he's 29 years old. They say that he's 19. You eliminate this one. Uh, they say that he's blonde hair. This one, no, because here says black hair. So then you use, this is another strategy that you can use when you are doing listening exercises, okay? So you see these are uh, things to get a specific information. What happened here? Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name... Okay, so he's giving a lot of... Uh, there is one word here, right? That is... What is one key, key word? Mention the key words. Mm -hmm. Elderly, what else? Elderly, Elderly. white beard. And, and white, white beard. beard. Okay, so you mentioned that? Okay, ah, okay. this is the one. Because in the one it says glasses, uh, black shirt, this didn't say anything about it. And it said it had lunch with Mr. Brown. Ah. Okay. Name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to... Listen to the conversation. Tall. What else do you remember? Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. What is the key word? Sitting in the couch. Mm -hmm. And what else? Pretty nice couple, I think. Mm -hmm. They mentioned something similar to that. Welcome to our school party. Little you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. They are? Yes, yes. Good-looking couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the key word? Couple and sitting on the couch. Uh -huh. sitting. But what else? They mentioned Little something. Tree. They mentioned something else. They say good-looking. And what is another word for good looking? A trap. Okay. A trap. They, have, they use sometimes, they use um, synonyms, right? Okay. They don't use the same word, but then you can use the, also the, how they call this? Infer. Okay. Inferir, right? The information, because they are using synonyms. Okay. 
they do it here in this level is is only synonyms but in other levels is uh, probably a complete phrase that is different okay that is paraphrased then it says aj and penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch uh, they are both wearing jeans they don't say that uh, they are sitting on the couch and talking to tom they don't say that either okay so then tom is talking to somebody else to another person okay so you see these are strategies for this listening that you can put in practice um, what is the other one? Sometimes here we say complete a sentence with do, does, or would, right? We say a movie, sure. What time is it? Okay, here. Which one do we have? Hey, do you like to see a movie tonight? Uh, it probably it, makes sense. Uh -huh. I think you are in pre-intermediate one. Ah, oh, switch. Sorry. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You're right. I switch to the other, to the other tab. Thank you. Yeah, this one. This one, when it says instructions, use the present perfect of the verbs. Well, here you have to use is the, the what? Past participle. Okay, have you? What is the past participle of be? Been. Been, right? Been. 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 Past part yes, say, have you been to any good movies lately? But I think it's seen, right? That's a bit seen, but been. Yes, I already. Seen. What is the past participle? Seen. 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 Okay, you have to write only the N. Okay, that one. Okay, here. Uh, have. It's has, uh, but uh, here we have to use has because we're talking about he. he. And then we have to say third person, right? We use the third person. Okay, so we have here has. Okay, and no, he has never. Uh, have. Have, uh, right? Uh, is the past participle, okay. Read a sentence and choose the correct answer. Then we have, I live in Boston. Four. Easy. For five uh, years. Four. Okay, we already have it. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. Since. Since, Since. Since. Since this specific moment. And Patrick has studied Portuguese for, for, a long, for a long time. For a long time. Okay. And it's not complete because I think I didn't write the first one. Right? Yes. Which watch have you been? Okay, so here you have what you have to do is practice the the simple uh, past participle of the verbs and the use of for and since, which is very fresh. Okay, here is the, what is the correct word? In. Okay. My brother is in this. Is in. My brother is in his 20, right? Then you have Tracy. Has Tracy uh, has shorts. Tracy has short, right? He's got a short. Phil's nephew. Is, is, is fine half because it's eight. one person and he's talking about the height. The they say the height. How tall he is. 
And then we have has Martin Heather as participle of the verb. Yes, Missed an appointment. Uh -huh. Here, if you don't know the meaning of appointment, you can make a mistake, right? Because we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, climb an appointment. And lost and missed in Spanish translated probably have the same meaning. Yes. But in, Eng in English is different. Okay, lost is when you have one dollar, you go to the sure. store and you, you don't know if you have a hole in the pants, in your pants, then you lose the money. You don't, you don't know what it is. And missed is probably when you don't come to class because you have to work or you have to go to a doctor, but you have to work and then you missed an appointment. You missed a class. You missed uh, the bus, right? Because you were running and you were late, but you couldn't reach the bus. So in those cases, it's missed. So here, if you see, it's about vocabulary. Okay, this question is about vocabulary. How many times have you lost your classes, sports, or cell phone? Cell phone. Now you are you are lost. Uh -huh. You yeah. can object. And have you ever? Which is the correct? Drive. 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 Uh -huh. Because reading is for motorcycles, bicycles, horses, and ruedas in the in the ferias, right? Reading the roller coaster. Okay, you can use this one. And have you ever drunk a truck? Never. Okay. There you go. And this was confusing, right? Because I. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that, for example, the, it's confusing because normally in all the exercises, when you say, uh, what was the word? Scramble. Scramble, you have to include the question mark here. Okay, and then when you see the question mark here, then you will see that you have to put the, the, mark, the question mark here at the end. But if you put this question mark here in the box, it's going to be wrong. Okay? Because you're going to use question, does Sam, okay, does Sam, well, uh -huh. where's the question? Hey, hey a mustache. Uh huh. And wear glasses? And wear, and wear glasses. Okay. But you begin with thus. And wear a glasses or? No. No. A, a mustache. A mustache. Ah. Remember that a is with singular. Glasses is plural. No a. Okay. Does Sam wear a mustache and glasses? Sorry, does Sam, does, does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? But in this one, this is a sentence. Christy is really gorgeous. Um, and in her, um, in her series. Correct, right? Then you say, for example, Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Okay. So this was an affirmative sentence. And here you have to use the period. Eh, no sé, ¿les aceptó el, el period aquí en la oración? A los que lo escribieron. Porque no sé si, let me see, Christy. Christy, no, Christy is really gorgeous. No, no, I said. No, huh? No. Gorgeous 
and in her circus. Okay, if I put the period here, Bye. it's going to be it's going to be nothing. The reading the the four the four yes, questions. you had to complete the four, right? Yeah. Well, let's leave it like that, and then let's see. That's some have a mustache. Mustache from O is in British. Mustache. And wear glasses. Okay, here again, if you write uh, the question mark, is incorrect, right? Wait, I need to change my. Okay. What is this one? Number three? Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. Cindy is, Cindy has, right? Cindy has. Cindy has. Long red, red hair. And? Is a medium height. Is medium. Medium height. Height, height, height. Height, height. Okay, height, period. They are going to be wrong, I know. Jason, no question, right? Who? Who? Who's the person? Who's the person? Uh -huh. Sitting next to Jason Coach. Sitting. Sitting on. Oh, sitting on. Sitting on the coach. Next to Jason. On the couch. Next couch. to. Next Jason. Okay, question mark. Okay, they they are not they are going to be wrong, incorrect. Okay, all of them incorrect. Here the period, right? Here question mark. Uh huh. Here period again. May hear the question mark. Okay. So you see, sometimes only this thing can make the big difference, right? So then uh, this is your answer. Okay, this is your answer. And then, and this is the space where you write the answer. So you have to pay attention to this. Okay. Solo una no me sale buena, teacher. Solo una. Eh, revise la, sí. la escritura, las mayúsculas. Ok. Si no usa alguna contracción, el apóstrofe. Porque tendrían que salirle todas buenas. Los espacios también. Los espacios, ajá. Ok. Eh, let me see. Gorgeous. So you have to go word by word. Let me see. Okay, Christian. Let me see. Sometimes. Aquí con la Y. Yo le escribí mal una letra y ya. Se equivocó. Okay, so all these details you have to be you have to be careful with. Christy is really gorgeous. 
and in her 30s. Con una es, con, con una es se escriba malo. O, o, o le omita. Aquí, y a veces no se ve el error hasta que uno lo ve varias veces. ¿sí? La E. Bien. Ok. Entonces, acá es solamente acordarse del orden y copiarlas justo como están arriba. Chris is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Does Sam, Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Sin la, sin el signo de interrogación, right? And Cindy has, Cindy has long. Aquí, por ejemplo, si ustedes le agregan has un a que no existe en la oración acá, then you're going to have a mistake. Okay, has. Long hair, long red hair, no. and is and is medium height. The period is here. Who is the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Long. How is the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Jason, Coach. and. The question mark is here. Okay. Entonces hay que ver eso, que les queden bien escritas. That's it. Okay. And the last one. Well, this one is not reading comprehension, right? KCS, de marcarlas. Okay. Okay, people. Se nos fue el tiempo. Time is up. Cualquier otra duda tienen ahí otro rato más, me lo pueden, me pueden mandar cualquier duda que tengan por algún error que les dé. Okay, you can tell me. Okay, people, thank you very much for your attention these four weeks. And get ready for Monday. Monday, you're going to start classes. I don't know if we are going to be in the same class or not, but keep on, okay? Keep on learning. Continue learning, okay? Read, listen, watch movies. Don't be shy, okay? Speak as much as you can. Practice all the time. Okay, so nice meeting you. See you later. Okay, bye bye. Have a very good bye night. Bye bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Thank you very bye. much. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Take care. Hey, goodbye. Take care. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.